Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. I'm here with Adrian Naxos. How are you doing, sir? Good, You've got good some beautiful boards this year for 2014. Let's walk through them. Thank you. Um, this is the Liberty, which is our new uh, model for this year. It's a, it's a base price point board. It's flat on the top, flat on the bottom, with a full ABS rail. It's designed to be a price point board, but we've still taken features from all of our other boards, the rockers, the outlines, and, and cool graphics. You're really happy with that board. Look at this, the back of this beautiful board right here. Awesome. Four different sizes. We've got the range of colors there. Nice. Let's talk about the other boards you've got. You've got a, quite a few on the line here. Yep. Sorry. This, this one here is the Inferno, which is the next one up. This was our baseboard from last year. It has a flat bottom, but a 3D CNC top. Uh, it has the same uh, scratch-proof top on it. Um, and a sublimated PBT base. This board here, differences from last year, we've changed the rocker. Uh, we have changed from a triaxial glass to a lighter weight biaxial glass construction with carbon, unicarbon under the heel side of it. Uh, and the board, a lot lighter than it was very last nice. year, and yeah, very yeah. nice. Very nice. Nice setup. Still a price point board. Um, we have a brand new board for this year, this is the new school. And this comes in four sizes, from 129 through to 138. This is a board that uh, it's a straighter outline in the middle, more curve in the tips, and it's a, a new rocker that we've come up with this year. Compared to our older rocker, it's, it's got more curve through the centre and it's straighter through the tips. What it means in, in riding terms is it means it's smoother through the water, less, less uh, it, it glances off the chop rather than sledging through it, and the, the straighter section through here means the board feels faster through the water. This is a, an all new board and when we built this we were blown away with some of the stuff we learned in this and we've a, applied quite a few of the changes from this board into the the Vanguard and the Limited that we had in, in production last year. You got those coming up right now. Yeah. This is the, uh, the new Vanguard and again compared to last year we've just changed the tip outline a little bit. We have two, two graphics for all of the Vanguards for this year come in a choice of this yellow graphic or we have a red graphic as well. This is a good time to show you the straps and pads and what we've got for that. We can each use your foot since you're here. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, my foot hasn't been manicured, so, so don't do a close-up. So it's a basic two-strap system, very, very easy to adjust. It's a nice supportive setup. Very comfy. The pad system here, it's uh, higher density foam through your toes, so where your toes are yeah. gripping, it's very easy to hold on. Yeah, yeah. Underneath your heels, it's a very, very soft EVA right. with uh, a structure around the back here to give you support out of higher density EVA. Underneath the heel section, there's a square about that big of a material called Poron XDR. Yep. And it's a, a shock absorption material. Like when it when it gets hard impact, it freezes for a nanosecond and um, really makes a big difference for the impact of it. Got a little piece of that there. Yep. But you can see um, off the board that sort of bounces a little yep. bit. This is the pour-on material, and it just totally it just stops dead when it hits that. It's an amazing oh. material. Even this way up, it just hits and stops. And it's very very. Good for shock oh, absorption, oh. so you've got that under your heel. Yeah, very smooth, but very dense. Then no, it's 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 uh, very um, fast memory, so it pops right. back very quickly. But when it gets the, the impact, it, it freezes solid and right. spreads the load out. Wow, so that's cool. underneath the heel and in, in all of the boards. Oh, very yeah. Nice. That do the next one. This is the same. This is the same board, but the straps on this one are. Uh, this is the, the pro version of the strap. Gotcha. Um, it has four straps, and what you do is do one up, and you do them more like in a crossing across like this. Very snug, I see. Yeah. The way this do does up, it really supports across yep. here, so the strap is less likely to flex. Right, and the load weight goes across, yep. so you're not getting pinched on either side. No, very, 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 very supportive compared to the standard strap. Right. You feel a, a lot more locked in, and this just folds down to control. Makes it nice and clean, there's nothing hanging or no, anything else. works really well. If you want to, you've got a lot of adjustment there. You can actually make these more on top like this. Right. And that actually allows the strap to flex, so it feels quite different when you lift your heel. Right, right, right. right. Yep. Okay. So it, this, it takes a lot of a fiddling around to get it exactly how you like it, but, but you can, you can get anything it. on that. Yeah, That's very, awesome. very. We also have, of the uh, standard strap that we have, yep. we have a, a small version, and it, it's just really, really good on, on the tiniest small kid's foot or girl's foot. It's one of the first times we've had a strap that really, really works well for, for small feet.
let's talk about the light wind boards. Yeah, this year we've, we've uh, built a dedicated mould for building the, the light wind boards. Uh, we had the patrol in the range last year and we were sharing the mould from the uh, Limited and the Vanguard. And it was a good board, but it was now that we've got a bit more time on our hands, we really decided to, to specifically build a board for light wind. Um, we have two versions of the same board here. These are both 144 by 45. This is the carbon version and this is the glass version. This is obviously a bit more uh, affordable and this is the, the top end version of it. Very, very light and um, quite thin and fairly flat bottom but still have a spine in it. Um, a lot of the feedback we got from the patrol last year is a lot of people that really liked it is they liked it because it was a light wind board that you could freestyle on. It wasn't just a great big light wind board that you couldn't do anything on. What we've also done is added a bigger version of them. So we have here, that was 144 by 45. And these ones are the bigger versions of it. This is 148 by 47. So it's a pretty monster board. It's going to get you going. As, In the almost, latest wind. Yeah, pretty much. And it's still a board that you can actually do some freestyle on. Let's look at the bottom of these beautiful looking boards. It's got the Got the channel down the middle. Yep, a little bit of a spine yep. and uh, a, sort of a single concave across the whole board. Yep. But really nice flex and really nice board. This is our, our top of the line board. It's, it's very similar in shape to the Vanguard. Slightly thinner and the carbon layups are a very, very lightweight board. And the graphics this year, we've just gone for silver and white and the, and the exposed carbon. And it's got a fantastic look to it. Yeah. Now, where can they find more info on all the boards and the sizes and all that stuff? Uh, always on the, the ex, AxisKiteboarding.com, but also on our Facebook page. There's an Axis Facebook, which is probably more active and a lot of info on there. Well, thank you so much, sir. No worries. Cheers.